Hey, this is John from whatisquickbooks.com. What you see in front of you right now is the QuickBooks Premier Edition 2012 home screen. And incidentally, the tip I'm going to show you will work with QuickBooks 2008 or above. If you are a small business owner and you've been in business for some time, then you are familiar with the employer's quarterly federal tax return. If you're not, let me give you a little bit of background information. What is Form 941? Well, Form 941 is a federal tax form, also known as the employer's quarterly federal tax return. It reports the number of employees, the amount of Social Security taxes, amount of, amount of Medicare taxes, and income taxes you have payable to the federal government. Now, you might ask, uh, who uses Form 941? Well, Form 91, Form 941 is typically used by small business owners. Now, you might be asking why. Well, every business owner is required to submit a completed IRS tax form 941, especially if you withheld Social Security, federal, and Medicare taxes from any of your workers' paychecks. Now, if you have ever done this return manually, you know that it can be somewhat of a headache and it can be somewhat cumbersome to complete. And the reason I have this screen in front of you is that QuickBooks has a really neat and a really quick way of producing this form for you, provided that you are using it and you are using the employee's payroll function. And if you are, it's really simple. Now, if you are not using QuickBooks, I recommend that you do get a copy of QuickBooks. Now, if you want more information about QuickBooks, you can go to my website, whatisquickbooks.com, to get more information. I'm going to show you uh, how to quickly produce the Form 941 using QuickBooks. As I mentioned before, this particular feature or this particular tip will work with QuickBooks 2008 or above. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to show you two ways to get there. The easiest way is to simply click on Process Payroll Forms, and that's going to bring up the Select Form Type. In this case, this is a federal form, so you'd want to click OK and bring that form up. I'll go ahead and click OK, and that'll bring up the option to choose a form. I'm going to cancel that real quick to show you the other way. I'll cancel that. Another way is to simply click on Employees from the drop down menu, click payroll tax forms and W-2s, then go to process payroll forms and that will bring it up as well. Then you click OK because it's a federal form. Then we want to select form quarterly form 941 slash schedule B. Then we want to confirm that we're in the right quarter and the right year. Now this is an example so you can ignore this year. Then you click OK. You'll, you may or may not get a message that prompts you to make sure ensure that you're picking up the latest payroll tax form in this uh, example we'll assume that you have already you'll click OK and it's going to bring up the interview section for the form and there's various instructional information that you're going to want to go through once you've gone through that and you click the necessary or made the necessary selections the next thing you will do is click next and it will produce the form for you in our example you can see all of the pertinent information such as the name the particular quarter that we're reporting for and based on the answers you provided the amount of money as well as the tax liability that you owe. there's another or an additional page to this so you're going to want to click next and you're going to want to review this information and confirm it as well. Then at the bottom, it's just like the actual form, it's going to ask you some other information such as, uh, such as signature, uh, do you want a third party preparer to answer questions, things of that nature. And the next page would actually just be a set of uh, additional instructions. You can ignore that, but if it is what you like or it's what you're looking for, you'd want to click on check for errors. And once you've checked for errors, if all that turned out okay, you'd want to click Submit the Form. And once you've done that, or if you wanted to save it for later, you can click Save and Close. You can also save it as a PDF, or you can print it for your records. So that's basically how you use QuickBooks to produce, or to begin to produce your Form 941. 
Once again, this is John from whatisquickbooks.com. I hope this tip has been helpful. Take care and have a great day.